So, so maybe we need to do some very simple social re-education. Um, but necessity is mother of all inventions. And so, you know, if I, if I look at one country that, that already was exposed to the post-peak, very post-peak lack of oil, that's Cuba. After the Soviet Union uh, fell apart and all the subsidies that were flowing from Eastern Europe and from the Soviet Union disappeared overnight. So suddenly all the fertilizer, all the crude oil that was flowing, the cement, everything else that was flowing into Cuba from the Eastern Bloc, gone. And Cuba had no cash reserves to do something else, to purchase them on, on, on the market. And so they essentially went into a starvation mode. And, and, and what they decided out of necessity is that suddenly they found people who are able to teach other people how to drive oxen. Okay? Not so simple actually, you need to know how to do yeah, that. I would right? imagine. You, it turned out that heavily over fertilized soil in Cuba in the state farms was essentially dirt with no soil structure, no bacteria, no worms, nothing. Everything was killed, right? Just like some soils here, right? So what they decided overnight is how to teach people how to grow earthworms, okay? And, and make quick compost in every city. Then they decided how to grow your own vegetables in front of every uh, you know, blockhouse in Havana and in other cities. Then they divided the universities into sub-campuses so that you didn't have to drive because you couldn't drive. There was nothing to drive you with. Okay? And so they rearranged the society and average Cuban lost 30% of their weight while doing so. But their mortality rate still remained below American mortality rate, believe it or not. And somehow they survived it. And in the process of doing it, they suddenly have a thriving other agriculture that produces vegetables, fruit, for people where they live. They taught masses of people how to do this, right? And they developed new sets of skills how to actually drive a more efficient agriculture with less of everything. And it's almost um, sad to say that uh, a society has to, has to get to, to the level of starvation yes. before they utilize right. the resources yes. of sharing. Right. Because here, to you know, to be able to do something, people want to market it, and, and they want to you know money. stack cheese yeah. off of yes. it. You yes. know, sure. make money. Sure. And so, 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 you know, when you ask me what can be done, well, I think we'll try to do things, but I don't believe that we will succeed until there's a massive displacement. You know, you have to wake people up, and when that gasoline is five or six bucks per gallon, and at the same time there are shortages of it, people will wake up. Okay. That's a very good wake up call. Uh, and, and I think that's coming our way. I wonder if you could spend a moment going uh, over explaining peak oil